Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and we are back with some more iPhone 15 cases, this time directly from Apple. We've got their silicone case and their fine woven case, both in blue, so let's take a look. Now before we get into the video, I do just want to talk about the pricing of these two cases. The silicone case comes in at $49 and the fine woven case at $59. So what that means is for two iPhone cases from the Apple store, you're looking around $108 combined. And that's actually pretty expensive. You can get tons of other options available for around $10, $15, $20 or even $25 that do an amazing job. And I'm going to have a ton of them linked in that description down below. Also this year we don't have the option of a leather case for the iPhone 15 Pro line of devices, so it does lose a little bit of that premium feel. They made a big deal about the fact that they're changing the materials to titanium, but then you're putting it into this case at $59 that really doesn't feel up to par, and it would have been really nice to have a leather option available. I get why they're doing it, and yes it's for the right reasons, but maybe they could have found a different way of doing it, maybe with a vegan leather that didn't really affect things too much. But enough of me going on about the pricing, let's get into the video. So these are the cases that I've gone with. We have here the silicone case in the winter blue, and then we have the fine woven case in the Pacific blue. Like I mentioned, the silicone case coming in at around $49, and the fine woven case coming in at $59 in total. So first off, we'll take a look at the silicone case, because this is the one that we've had for a pretty long time now when it comes to those iPhone accessories. Obviously the same opening in terms of the box side of things, and of course what you get inside the packaging is going to be the same as what we've had previously. You're just going to get the case, no other accessories, no Apple stickers, no screen protectors, and that's kind of to be expected these days with Apple accessories. However, I do have to give it to Apple that with the silicone case, it does have actually a pretty nice build to it overall. Of course, you've got the silicone on the outside, and again, we'll see how that wears over time. And then you do have this nice interior here with the MagSafe ring and this really plush fabric material as well. So it's definitely going to be looking after that back glass on the iPhone. And of course, getting the phone in and out of the case couldn't be simpler. All you need to do is just slide it in on each of the corners, and then you're set and ready to go. Nice little animation here to show which case you've got. And again, that really only comes from Apple cases. And as you can see, you're pretty much done. Now this really nice combination here of this blue with the titanium coming through, it's really nice here. You've got the nice camera cut out here. You've got a little bit of protection. Yes, it's not the most raised out there, but it's still gonna protect it overall. Obviously your power button is gonna be completely enclosed on the right hand side. It's just gonna be a standard silicon button and the same with the volume up and down and the action button. No metal buttons like you get on the fine woven case. Again, completely enclosed at the top here. Down the bottom, I do like the fact you've got a cutout here for the USB-C and you've got individual cutouts for the microphone and speaker array so again just giving that overall protection. And the case in general does have a really nice soft touch to it. Now, some people may not be a massive fan of that because it can be a little bit slippery from time to time. But again, for the overall protection you get here, again, coming directly up to the screen, it's not going to interfere with any sort of screen protectors or anything. And just in general, like I mentioned, it does feel very premium in the hand. Now, you can get some other silicone options for a lot cheaper. But again, this one coming directly from Apple, it does just feel a little bit different. Now, when it comes to MagSafe accessories, I've got here the Apple Wallet officially from the Apple Store. And again, that goes on the back, no problems at all, and it aligns perfectly. Now, I've done a ton of case videos recently for the iPhone 15 Pro, and still to this day, the Apple line of cases does the best job when it comes to MagSafe accessories, staying where they should do, staying in place, and just look at this overall color combination with the orange, blue, and that titanium coming through as well. It just looks really, really nice. And then we have the fine woven case. Now, like I mentioned, this is going to be replacing the original leather case from Apple. The price is going to be staying the same, so we'll see exactly how good the overall quality is. Now, I've got this one here in the Pacific blue color, and it does look really nice. I think it's going to go really well with the titanium iPhone. And again, once you take the case out of the packaging here, you can see that you've, well, you've just got the case. You've got some paperwork, how to put your phone in the case. Thanks very much for letting us know. And then we do have the Pacific blue case just here, like I mentioned, in that fine woven woven material. You've got metal buttons on the left and right hand side and the overall material does kind of feel nice on first impressions. Now putting the phone into the case is very simple to do. Again you get that animation from all Apple cases and I'm really not a huge fan of this back material. The best way that I can describe it is kind of like velvet. Now I know that sounds a little bit strange but with velvet if you rub it one way it feels very smooth but if you rub it the other way it does have a little bit of a coarser feel to it and that's kind of the same with this case. I do really miss the leather 
leather that you did have on previous Apple cases. Again, I still got it on my wallet here that I got when I had the iPhone 14 Pro, but this case just doesn't feel very premium, especially that $59 price tag. Now, of course, you've still got the camera housing, which is enclosed and protected around the back, but you can see here that I've already got some marks on the back of the case itself, and this is brand new out of packaging, so definitely something to keep in mind. You've got a metallic button here covering your power switch for the on and off, and again, around the other side, the volume up and down, and also the action button has that same metallic buttons. Now, this sort of TPU side also has a very rough feel to it, and it does pick up a bunch of fingerprints and grime. Now, on the bottom, you do have a complete cutout for the USB-C and also the speaker and microphone array. No individual cutouts like on the silicone case. But honestly, it just doesn't feel great with this particular case when you take into account the pricing. Now, I'm going to link a video in the description down below where someone done a complete teardown of this case and it's basically a very thin cardboard type sort of shell, I guess you could call it, with this fine wave material over it, but it just doesn't feel great. And like I mentioned, straight out of the box, it does already have some marks on there. And also, I don't know if you can see, but around the screen here, you can also see the actual band of the iPhone itself with that kind of titanium, and that actually shines through. So for some reason, this case doesn't go fully up to the screen. There's a tiny little bit of a gap in between the screen and the case itself, which again is definitely something to keep in mind. Now, of course, we do have the Apple wallet here. And again, slapping it onto the back here, it does still feel really nice. It does align as it should do. And again, that color combination does look really nice with this slightly darker blue, the orange and the titanium. And again, this doesn't really go anywhere. You do have to kind of really push it and move it to get rid of it. So no worry about that falling off whatsoever. And that's a lot better compared to some third party cases and accessories out there. But overall, I just don't think it's amazing. Now, you do have the ring on the MagSafe wallet as well. And over time, I have seen a Line, this does leave a mark on the back of the iPhone as well so you will have a sort of circle that appears on the actual back of the case along with all of the usual scratches and things that you get from this particular case now for me this isn't a durability test so I'm going to link some other videos in the description to show exactly how it holds up over time but for me if it's my money and I'm going to be spending it the silicone case is the way that I'm going to be going every single time and I've also noticed as well that the inside of the two cases, while they both have a sort of fabric material, the one on the silicone case just feels like a much more of a plush material compared to what you have on the inside of the fine woven case. As you can see here, it actually leaves marks and things. You can see that it is quite dense, whereas the inside of the fine woven case just, again, feels extremely cheap. And that's kind of the trend of this particular case. It just doesn't feel like it's worth that money. Now, both cases, by all means, are definitely overpriced compared to what else you can get on the market. However, if you do want to have that first party iPhone accessory kind of to hand, I would definitely go for the silicone case overall. And again, this winter blue with the titanium iPhone just looks incredible overall. And it's kind of a perfect combination once you take into account that wallet as well. And that's going to do it guys today on this video on the iPhone line of accessories for the iPhone 15 Pro. Now, like I've mentioned a ton in this video, both of these cases are overpriced. I wouldn't be paying $49 or $59 for any of these cases. And of course, I'll be linking in the description below all of the recent videos that I've done on iPhone 15 Pro cases, because in my opinion, pretty much any one of those cases is better value compared to what you're going to find here. Now, the craftsmanship and the build overall of the Apple silicone case does feel really nice. The final woven case just feels way way cheaper compared to what we used to have with that really nice plush leather case now if you guys did enjoy this video be sure to leave a thumbs up down below and also in the comment section if you do have an iphone 15 pro or an iphone in general let me know what case or accessory you are currently using if you're not already subscribed now is a great time to do so and of course once you've hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn on the notifications so you're notified anytime i post a video here on the channel I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. I may or may not be making a return trip to the Apple Store to return some things. And I will catch you guys in the next video.